Howdy, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. Did you know that you can automate the tempo within a single song inside your DAW? doesn't really matter what system you use. I mean, I don't know if GarageBand does it, but any actual DAW system that you're using, I mean, GarageBand might even do it, uh, allows you, all the ones that I've seen, will allow you to automate the tempo. Now, this is, I'm using it in a unique way that you may not have seen before or you may not have thought about. Uh, the typical way you think about automating the tempo is that band that is, usually it's pretty complex stuff they're playing and they want to go from 85 BPM in the verse to 95 BPM in the chorus and then back down again. Or maybe there's a section that slows down and it needs to all be synced together. Um, that's fine. And that's kind of, I guess, the reason those were invented the automated tempo deal was invented, invented to begin with, so the click track follows that tempo as you go through the song. The way I like to use it is in preparation for a new album project. So here, uh, you can see there are 16 songs I've recorded, just a guitar and a vocal with a click track. So as I'm working through pre-production for this album, getting the scratch tracks ready as guide tracks that we're going to play along to during the tracking session, um, I decided to do them all in one session. It was just easier that way. I have a mic plugged in for guitar and acoustic, and I've got other stuff for pianos and for keyboards and electrics, anything that I need for kind of that scratch track and whatever kind of captures the vibe of the song. And then I just set the tempo, figure out the tempo of the song, and then record it. And then when I'm done, I just scooch on over to the next bar, insert a time signature change if I need to. This song's in 6-4, and insert the name of the song, right at the downbeat, and then I change the tempo. So the first song over here was 85, I believe, 86. And then this one I've changed to 104. And it's literally, I just click here, and in Studio One, I can just click on this plus sign, and it inserts a new tempo section, and I can change the tempo of this part to be different from this part. And so I just did that from song to song. So in one session, I'm able to fairly quickly go through and record scratch tracks for all the songs. And then I can literally just export each of these individually, send them to my band so that they can start practicing and getting ready for, for their part, which is one part of it. But I can also export these individually and import those into the tracking session itself so we can play along to it. So instead of having to figure out how I want to set up the tracking, the entire tracking session with all the tracks and routing and inputs and outputs, I didn't want to deal with that because it wasn't time to deal with that. But I also didn't want to create a, a session with just two audio tracks and then a new session for each song. Then when it comes tracking day, I open up the first song, I add kick drum, snare drum, tom, tom, overhead, overhead, and I add all that, I get all the routing right, and then we record that one song, go to song two, oh no, now I have to add kick, snare, tom, tom, overhead, overhead. I have to do that all over again times 14 or 16 songs. And that's not bueno. So instead of doing that, I simply recorded all the scratch tracks in a single session. And the night before the session, I'll just come in here and I'll export. I'll do like a stem export. So I'll say everything. I'll set a marker between these two. Boink. Hang on. There we go. So my start and end marker are right here. And then I'll just come in and export the stems for the vocal and acoustic as WAV files. And then I can have those, those WAV files available to me. Or I can even just hit the bounce button and have them available now. However you want to do it doesn't matter. And then I can import those into the newly created session with all the routing and things that I want. And I don't have to spend all my time resetting up that session. So I'll have that initial template and then I just bring in the scratch tracks into each session as I'm moving through the tracking session. And it makes life so much easier. And the only way I could do that is by automating the tempos up and down as we go throughout. Easy, cool solution, and I think it's going to work out really well and hopefully make the tracking day just a lot more fun and a lot less stressful. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. If you haven't checked out HomestudioCorner.com in a while, you should. Lots of fun stuff happening over there. And otherwise, I'll see you next week.